Well, ladies and gentlemen, I was reading through some articles and I came across a very interesting potential situation that apparently has been discussed before. The potential idea of playing the MLB World Series at a neutral stadium. Now, to me, this makes no sense. We're going to go through it. They're trying to compare it to the Super Bowl with the NFL playing, you know, their biggest game at a neutral stadium. You can see Vegas Athletics Ballpark may benefit if MLB alters playoff format. And they're talking about possibly the neutral site World Series. Language in the Oakland A's Las Vegas draft non-relocation agreement includes safeguards in the event MLB chooses to alter its playoff format. Mark Arnold, special counsel to the Las Vegas Stadium Authority, said during a May 18th meeting of the board of directors that MLB is requiring teams non-relocation agreements to include a section that leaves the option open for teams to play playoff games at a single host site. Quote, it could be possible for MLB to go the same model that is more like the Super Bowl, if you will, where some playoff games are played in a location that is not necessarily the home stadium of any of the teams. And so that is a bit vague. It seems like he's possibly hinting at more than just the World Series being at neutral site locations. Now, the reason this doesn't make sense is because it's a false equivalency. With the NFL, there is one singular neutral site game. It's not a series where it's a best of five or a best of seven. It would not make sense for MLB to, because it's a seven-game series in the World Series, play all of those games at a neutral site. I guess you could argue if you wanted it fair, you could say maybe we'll have one game at a neutral site and then one team gets three home games, the other team gets another, the other three home games, but then that would devalue the regular season because the team with the better record would not get an advantage of having that fourth additional home game. So the idea of comparing this to the NFL, the NFL has one singular game and obviously it's extremely important. It's like the biggest sporting event every year. The Super Bowl, it's like a spectacle. So it goes to different places. Cities get rewarded for building new stadiums. That's a totally different thing than the World Series where there's seven games every single year. I don't think you can make that a spectacle to where, you know, let's just say, for example, the Atlanta Braves are facing the Yankees and, and one of the games is played at Dodger Stadium because they want to get LA involved or because it's better weather. That was another argument they were making. It's the idea of you could have it inside of a dome or a retractable roof to guarantee good weather like at Minute Maid Park or something in Texas. To me, that also takes away from the uniqueness of playing, like let's say the Yankees make the World Series. Remember when the Indians made it, or I guess now the Guardians, but when they made it, they were the Indians in 2016. How about the Cubs in Wrigley Field playing in 40, 45 degree weather? You want that, that adds character to the World Series. You don't want it perfect, 73 degrees, very bland. We've had a lot of that recently with some of the teams that have made the World Series, but in general, I don't think... It's it's worth it, and this comparison to the NFL and the Super Bowl, it's a total false equivalency because of the exclusiveness of one singular game that gets that much viewership as opposed to seven games. Yes, it's the World Series, they all matter, but this would also be like the NBA having neutral site finals games which I feel like would just not have any energy the whole idea is one team with their passionate fan base gets to host two games then the other team gets to host two games by the way there's also an argument with the format and people do like the 2v the 232 format I think it's a terrible format I think it should be 22111 otherwise you're, you're kind of giving the team with less home games an advantage because at a certain point in the series it, they're going to have played three home games versus the team with technically the better record only playing two home games because it's a 2-3-2. Two, two. It would be home, home, road, 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 home, home. I would rather it be home, home, road, road, home, road, home. That's what I think the format should be. And I think they've changed back to it. They were shuffling the format a lot. But I just kind of saw that. You can see uh, another quote, kind of like the Super Bowl, Vegas is one of the best places to have those neutral site games. Well, the issue with Vegas hosting a, a World Series, like a neutral site World Series, the capacity of that new stadium they're planning on building, I believe even with the expansion 
extended standing room seating is 35000 So, and I guess you could make it work and the ticket prices would be a lot higher because the demand would be there. But Vegas in general, I don't think is a great atmosphere for a game. Like look at the Raiders, for example. I, I don't, the Raiders home games don't really strike me as an amazing atmosphere. It's more like a neutral site thing. And, and neutral site games in general, they're not good atmospheres. Now for the Super Bowl, we can understand it. You know, that because that's a spectacle, a one-off thing. College football fans get very angry whenever there's a week one, week two, you know, non-conference games with two power four teams and they play at a neutral site and there's no energy and, you know, half of the seats are empty or like a quarter of the seats are empty because they're playing at a massive NFL stadium. Even if they're all full, one team is probably closer, so they're going to have an advantage in terms of the fan base. It just, it doesn't make any sense and it's not a direct comparison with a neutral site World Series, but this stems from the original report that I talked about where the A's said they were open to playing possibly eight games. It, these would be the these would count as the A's home games away from Las Vegas when they move to Las Vegas in 2028 or 2029. And my thought is they're basically going to be the MLB version of the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars, they've been in bed with London for a while now. They're up to two London games per year. I think MLB wants to expand like every single sport. We know the NBA wants to do it with Mexico City. They go to Paris. They play there. MLB... They want potential, like one series I'm sure they want in Mexico per year. They probably want another series maybe in Japan or somewhere like South Korea. And then possibly you want to in include Europe. We have it right now with Paris. So, and, and they might go to even more places like South America. I think the A's are going to be like the designated team every single year. They'll probably have two series away from the United States. And it's probably going to count as home games for the A's when they do move to the Las Vegas Stadium. And that's why, well, let's actually see what this says. MLB last changed its league's playoff format in 2022, going from 10 teams to 12. And yes, so I do agree with that. The MLB 10-team format was really brutal. I mean, you would have teams legitimately go 93-69 and 69 and miss the playoffs outright. That should never happen. If you go 93, if you have 93 or 92 wins, like 92 and 70, 22 games above 500, and you don't even make the playoffs because of the format, because there was only one wild card team or whatever, they needed to change it. And I think they have the perfect, you know, 12 teams. You don't have to go more. It becomes devalued. 12 teams is the perfect number. Uh, so I think that it's good in terms of that. And you can see. The A's and the Las Vegas Stadium Authority officials are negotiating the terms of the non-relocation agreement with the number of potential out-of-market games among the topics discussed. I don't think they're saying where those games would potentially be. MLB has agreed, of course, that any of the efforts they use to impose rules on the A's would be done in uniform in a consistent manner to all the teams when they sign these non-relocation agreements. I guess that's what they're saying. And a finalized version of the non-relocation agreement could be voted on for potential approval as early as July 18th. Now, this, this agreement is not a, talking about, oh, the neutral site World Series is going to happen. But they have discussed it, and it seems like Las Vegas is saying, look, we have the perfect neutral site for a World Series if you're going to go that route. I don't think it's going to happen. You, you could I, I don't even think you can argue it. Like... If you've got the, let's just say the Cleveland Guardians facing the Dodgers and you're going to have neutral site games in Las Vegas for the World Series, that's absolutely ridiculous. It should be at their home stadiums. That's the whole you know, idea of it. It's passionate fan bases. It's the Dodgers traveling across country to Cleveland. It's the Guardians traveling across country to Los Angeles. It makes for better, more entertaining games than just some random neutral site game. I mean, that's what the All-Star game is for. You know, stadiums take turns hosting the All-Star game. We don't also have to have these stadiums playing neutral site, Minute Maid Park, or whatever stadium they would choose. It is just ridiculous. And also, weather is not a big problem. And on top of that, the weather adds another factor to it, especially if a team, you know, based maybe out of New York or Boston, they make it in and it's like 45, 50 degrees because it is in the fall. And I think that adds to playoff baseball. So I do not think this is going to happen. It's a false equivalency. The A's have come out and said, we want to have neutral site games. We'll take eight home games away to potentially play 
in Brazil, in the UK, possibly in Japan. And on top of that, they're saying, let's have a neutral site World Series and have Las Vegas host it. It doesn't make much sense, but guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.